Oh yeah, my name is Major Slack and this is my real walkthrough of the video game Control. We're beginning the second main mission, Unknown Caller. And in this episode, we'll get our first secret ability point. And I'm going to show you where you can find the secret loot box. And we're going to find out what the Threshold kids think of Director Trench. The director's a poophead! A poophead? That's not very imaginative. A dirty, person! There we go, that's better. <laughs> Yeah, okay people, get your gear, saddle up, lock and load, let's go, let's get it done. Major Slack Videos Alright, we're starting off the Central Executive, point yourself north. And as soon as we go into this area here, we're in combat mode. We're gonna shoot again. now and A loot later. Message. You finished, Jesse? Okay, yeah, um, this is what we're going to do. We're going to shoot now and loot later. I'm just going to like blast through, straight through to the next control point. Actually, next two control points, okay? We're going to battle our way all the way through, straight through to the secret ability point. And then once we get that, at that point, we'll have the launch ability and we'll also have the clearance level one key card. And then we're going to fast travel back to this point here and we're going to do a second tour through and loot everything and we'll be able, to be able to get into all the doors that were previously locked by clearance level 1 um, keycard. Alright, but be advised that the second pass through enemies will respond, but that's okay, we'll just make more money and um, more materials. If we don't want to do a second pass loot everywhere as we're going along as I'm showing you how to battle your way through. Alright, and there's just one more thing I want to show you. Crouch cover. When you're in crouch cover you can still you still have your crosshair, right? So in crouch cover you can just aim your crosshair at the enemy and then pop up and shoot him. Like that. Okay, so let's say the enemy is that sack right there. Okay, that's something I do often. Right? That's it. Let's go. Like I said, we're gonna shoot now loot later. Don't forget you have the melee ability. It's very useful. So we're going to run out here, ambush these guys, and that's all it takes. Down here, we're going to take cover behind that planter there. What you want to do is shoot down all the plants first so that you have a clear cut, like clear line of fire all over all those enemies that are coming from that way. All right? Jump over, run over here, Take cover. Should only take four or five shots in each one. Once you target him, four or five shots and he's done. Nice cover here. No grenades, so don't worry about it. Pop back into cover. Once you've taken him down, let your. And he's coming around. When you do this, then get cheeky. Just go around. Melee. And that's it. And when you see that research res records his barrier, that means you've cleared the cafeteria. Let's just quickly grab this and we're going to continue to the north towards that yellow marker. All right. In here, these enemies are going to start throwing grenades. This is dead letters. That's going to be marked on your map now, so it's no longer question marks. It's now the dead letters section. The first three enemies are those guys hanging right there. You can ambush one of them right away by killing them while they're hanging. Okay? Then we're going to run down and plunk ourselves in a room down there. Which is the perfect place to take cover from grenades. Because these guys are going to start hucking grenades. Let's just come right in here, hunker down, and wait right here. And you got a beautiful view. See this armored guy here? He's got like the hiss resonance around him. He always stops at the bottom of the stairs every single time. And then there's going to be another guy possibly come up behind him and a third one's going to come over here. When the third one comes over here we could just shoot him right through the glass and then we're going to retreat behind that wall. That's the plan. Let's do it. Here's the second guy behind him. And there's the third guy. He stops there. Down he goes behind the wall. This is perfect cover from grenades so you can just use your camera just to keep an eye on these guys like that. See what they're gonna do. If he comes over this way, pop out, melee, 
two them in. That's all it takes. Because melee is very effective against the armored guys. And then just come back here and wait. Now also another thing by coming over here we spawn the guys up there as well which is what we want because they'll come creeping down like this as you can see and then you can just ambush them, use corner cover and do them in. Come on pop goes the weasel, here we go. Don't forget melee. Do a hit and run to get some health. And it's down to a dull roar. Now, because these guys spawned up here, you can do some sneaky headshots. Normally, those guys don't spawn until. And if they throw a grenade, you got good cover here. It's fantastic cover. You just retreat. It's no problem. It's well lit, so you don't have to like run around in the dark. And there we go. They got nice. They pop up with their heads nicely exposed. Once you got them down to a dull roar, you can push forward. Up here, hunker down, and slowly go up the stairs while you're aiming. There we go. That's all there is to it. There you go, and we have a control point to cleanse right here. Cleanse that sucker. Cleans up the room. All the loot is exactly the same, so don't worry, you're not like blowing away any loot boxes that were there before. They're all in the exact same spot. And we're continuing into the communications department. Communications. We're on the right track. Down here you can see a guy pop out. And he gets clunked on the head. Poor guy. And that's where we're going, pneumatics. Okay. Before we go into pneumatics, I'm going to loot one thing here just to give this a little context. Go back here in the cafeteria, or rather in the dead letter section, and in here into this room, and interact with this TV. Just look at it. Now we can watch this full screen, so just exit. Go to your collectibles, go to multimedia, and look for floppy disk. Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. OOP. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. <laughs> wow. A lot of progress here. Okay, so that's that. That's what we're up against coming up next. Okay, so back here into the communications bar and quickly show on the map where I am. Okay, and we're pushing west and into pneumatics. Okay. Basically, you want to just hang out here. The floppy disk is right there, but as soon as you go in, it's going to start launching all kinds of crap at you, so you got to dodge that. Best thing to do is push off to the left right away, as soon as you get in. Object push of off power. to the left. Looks like the hiss have latched onto it. We need to cleanse it. Yep, we need to cleanse it. Push down here. Hang out right here. And then we're going to run straight across there and up there. Once you get to the top, push down here so you have a clear runway across that walkway and run for it.
Now once you get close, it typically stops throwing stuff at you, but don't take any chances. Just get in there right away and interact with it as quickly as you can. Okay, so let's go. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. Their pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. All right, we now have the launch ability. Check into the uh, controls to see what it is for you, and we can pick up objects and throw them. Here's a quick launch tutorial. Launch uses energy. Just point at anything, see how it's highlighted like that, and you can pick up that thing like that, pick it up, and press the same button again to throw it. So we're now in an astral plane, and we have to like use the launch ability to complete the astral plane challenge. The first thing you need to do is to break down that wall. So just throw that there and you break down the wall. Now with launch, you could you don't have to throw it right away. You can just pick it up and carry it around. That's number one. Number two, you can drop anything that you pick up. If you decide you don't want to launch it, you can drop it by simply pressing the button that you use to interact. Okay, whatever that button is for you, press that button and you'll drop the object, all right? That's number two. Number three, you don't have to wait until she's got it in her hand before launching. You can launch it right away, like this. See? That's really handy because, you know, if an enemy is over there, um, you know, just. You don't have to wait till it's like all the way in your hands. As soon as you lock on, throw it. Um, another thing, you don't actually have to look around for stuff to launch. If there's nothing around, like, often Jesse will just rip crap off the ground, you know. I'll demonstrate that later, but you don't really have to have anything specific to launch. Just aim anywhere. Don't bother looking around for something launched. Just press the launch button and she'll grab something, all right? She'll just, she'll just rip concrete off the walls or off the floor or whatever, okay? So don't worry about that. And that's about it. One more thing. Let's say there's an enemy there and you got an object there. You can like grab something, bring it towards you and it will like, it'll hit him on, on its way into your hand. And then you can throw it at him. So like get like a double whammy, all right? And it's pretty damn powerful. Most of the low level enemies you can one shot with launch. And the best thing about it is it locks onto the target. All right, so that's your launch tutorial. And there's gonna be like these power cubes that you're gonna encounter throughout the game. Um, you're going to have to pick up the power cubes and throw them into the power slot. So this is a demonstration of that. So throw it there, and that will build a bridge across here. I'm just being extra careful because Mr. Fumblefingers loves to dive over the edge. I've, I've killed, I'd say about half my deaths, deaths through the first run were attributed to just falling off the edge. Okay, so we've got some enemies here. A little bit of target practice, just grab anything, lock on, throw it at him, instant kill. That's for these low level enemies. As enemies get tougher, it's going to take more launches to kill them. But you can upgrade launch. Be advised that launch uses energy. See the bar filling up up top? That's your energy bar. At the moment, we can get two launches per energy bar. That's if you rapidly shoot. All right? And the energy bar is just like your ammo bar. If you bottom it out, you have to wait till it refills before you can use launch again or use anything energy related. But if you don't bottom it out, It'll just refill on the fly. See this little pause and it refills on the fly. Alright, and at this point we can get two launches, two rapid fire launches before um, bottoming out our energy bar. Where is this guy? Okay, see now it's bottomed out. 
but be advised that you let's say we're going to get a mod later on that gives you a little bit of extra energy like say nine percent extra energy that's enough to get a third launch because you don't you see like right now our energy bar you split it in half you get one launch per half but you don't actually need a whole half of an energy bar to do another launch so if you find a mod that gives you like an extra nine percent energy you equip it and you'll get three launches like three rapid fire launches before your energy bar bottoms out all right to get all that because it's going to be a pop quiz tomorrow all right here we go pull the th pull the switch rather and we go back to reality and this is going to put us back in the pneumatics room and as soon as we get there we're going to run off to the left why well, slack just trust me there you are you were gone okay as soon as we get in run off to the left and over to the catwalk just like you wanted right this will help me fight the hiss. grab this big bad boy here and do in this guy right away because he's a pain in the arse kill him right away and then return to here you got so many things to launch so it's just basically target practice those big things with like the gas cylinders those always blow up you get like multiple kills with that and this guy's coming up it looks like take care of that guy and if you run out of energy you can always just shoot him down waiting for your energy to respawn. I think a guy came up there, so let's... Here we go. See, that's a perfect example of um, not waiting for the launch object to actually get in Jesse's hand. You don't have to wait. As soon as you hear that Whoop! you know she's grabbing something to launch and then just throw it right away. And I think that's it. As soon as we get out, there's going to be another guy there. Let's grab this big bad boy here. Introduce him to the Big Bang Theory. There's a level 1 clearance. Clearance level 1 door. We're going to come back for that. So as soon as you come out here, you're going to get ambushed. Right there. Say hello to my little friend. Down he goes. And as soon as you kill him, that clears this hiss here, this hiss barrier. And that reminds me, I should have shown you that. As soon as we clear the cafeteria, you get this here, which explains about hiss barriers. The hiss resonant field, it's basically the red stuff. And typically, when you get into boss fights, the entrance that you came in is going to be blocked by a hiss resonance field. So that's what number two is referring to. You have to kill the hiss entity, uh, aka the boss, before the resonant field will clear. In other places, you're going to see like all this red stuff, and you can't go in there because there's all these like little hiss clusters, and you have to like destroy all the hiss clusters before you can go in that area. That's what number one refers to. All right, and I'll show you more about that later on. Next, now that we've cleared the way down to the mail room, uh, once again we're gonna shoot now and loot later. Let's and go for the. That the hotline can be reached through the mail room. That's right. Okay, so we're gonna gonna go straight for the ability point. At the end here, I'm gonna turn left, and you're gonna grab one of these. Look for one of one of these these blocks right here. These indestructible blocks. Okay, it has to be with, like this. Okay, this blue block. There's three of them right there. They're always there, and they respawn. Okay, so you're gonna go down here. See the mailroom sign here, but just kind of like squeeze through this area here, and you're looking for the stairs going up. I think the stairs going up. We're gonna go all the way to the top, and we're gonna plunk this block right here just put it down All right next go into this area here open it up there's no clearance level required grab yourself a couple of fire extinguishers and put them down right here don't put them on that side put them on this side ready to rock and roll right there 
and there's a poison gas area back here. Can't go in there now, but there is a third fire extinguisher right there. Okay, so he wants some extra firepower. Okay, so now you get a nice collection of fire extinguishers to throw at whomever. <laughs> and we got this block here. This is very important, okay? And we're going into what I'm going to call the Black Shell Rock Room. And I'll explain why later. In there is a named enemy. I forget his name, but uh, he's a tough badass. Once you kill him, then we'll be able, to be able to get the secret ability point. But he's a tough hombre, and he's got like, you know, four or five other enemies with him. And two of them have got, um, um, like resonant fields. Like they got shields, so they're tough too. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in. There's a fire extinguisher just to our left there. Go in, grab it. And the guy's going to spawn on the right side there. We're going to go in with the fire extinguisher at him and come back out and plant ourselves here. Use corner cover to um, gun down as many enemies as we can while the mini boss is approaching. And one thing you can do, nothing's going to jump off until you go across that line there. One thing you can do is shoot down all these computers here so that you have a clear line of fire so that as the enemies are going back and forth, they don't have cover. You don't want that. You may think it's cover for you, but it's actually preventing you from shooting them. Alright? So that's it. Ready? Grab the fire extinguisher, go here, doing that guy, and run back out. And we're just gonna wait right here, camp here, use corner cover to gun down as many guys as you can, and watch out for the bad boy. You always you know him because he's named. That's not him. Use launch when you can, but make sure you have a clear line of fire. It's a perfect example. See, he uses that as cover, so we took that away from him. You just peek around the corner to see if the... I think that's him over there. He is. First class... Ranger First Class Coleman. That's the bad boy. As soon as he approaches, we're going to go for our Alamo back in that room there. And use fire extinguishers to blow him away. That's an example of like boom, he threw he threw a grenade. That's an example of Jesse just kind of like grabbing crap off the ground or whatever. Just anything. There he is. He's gonna advance. Here he comes. Go for our Alamo into here. Corner cover. He's gonna come out, and now we're just gonna launch anything at him. And grab one of your fire extinguishers. Introduce him to the Big Bang Theory. And again, let's throw a chair. Have a seat. Whoops. <laughs> and I have to wait for my energy to re recharge. Try to go for headshots. Oops. Jeez. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mr. Pumble Fingers. And he's down. Okay. And he always gives up the, the hidden trend, a hidden trend material, and the mod. Look at the mods later, and there's one guy left. And down he goes. Yeah, that was pretty much textbook. Let's just take a look around, make sure everybody's dead. And it looks like everybody's dead. Okay, so once you're in room, if this room here, showing the map where I am, see like those nine squares? That's where we are. Okay. Once you're in here, bring your indestructible block that you brought, okay, like I told you. Pick it up. Bring it in. Plunk it down beside any one of these concrete blocks. They're called black rock shell something or other. Anyways, I'll show you that later. Plunk it down right beside it like that, okay? Climb up on it, climb up top, and there's your free ability point. How about a thumbs up for that? Yay! I got a free ability point! Yay! Free! <laughs> there you go. So that's that. That's how you get a free ability point. Um, let's just loot this place while we're here. Show you all the documents later. There's 
something I recently discovered. If you ever like, you know, you want to take a close look at something, you just go, always go right up to it and just aim your pistol, and then you can actually read all this stuff. It's pretty cool. Oh, I got a acoustic guitar for sale. Interesting. Fifty bucks. All right. I think that's it. As far as loot. Alright, let's go get the level 1 clearance card. That's not here, I'm just like grabbing this. Um, that's a poison gas area, you can't go there until um, later on in the game when we do a side mission. Okay, back out here. The ultimate destination is the mail room. And that's where the Tomasi boss fight is going to happen. That's a bitch. But I'm going to show you how to do that first thing next video. For now, um, there's two places you get a clearance one key card, which is what you need to get in there, and a whole bunch of other doors. One is here, and there's also another one upstairs. I don't know why they do that. But they do. There's another one right here. Okay, so there's your clearance one key card. And there is a control point right beside the mailroom Tomasi boss fight, okay? There's the mailroom, you need the key card to get in there. There's another key card here, let's grab that for what the hell. This must open the door. And cleanse the control point. Cleanse, claim the control point, however you want to call it. Done and done. Alright, so. Let's loot. Let's fast travel back to Central Executive. Now we have the... Be advised though, before you do this, be advised. As soon as you fast travel back, and start working your way through again through everything we just did enemies may respond probably will respond okay so if you don't want to do that do everything I just did and loot everywhere so that now you can go straight into the Tomasi boss fight without having to go back but I'm gonna go back because for the sake of the walkthrough I want to just do all the combat and all the like you know the navigation up front so that people like you know, won't get frustrated you Frustrated by watching me loot a whole bunch of stuff and open up a bazillion documents and whatnot. Okay, so here, see what I do for you guys. Back to Central Executive, and now we're going to do a loot tour. But like I said, enemies will respawn randomly. But now we have launch, so we can just like, you know, good launch practice. All right, clearance key card number one, level one. Um... If you point yourself south from Central Executive, go up these stairs here. There's a clearance level one door right there. Open it up. And let's take a look at these documents. Henceforth, when I look at a document, I'm just going to pause for three seconds over the document. And I'm just going to assume that you're going to pause the video so that you can read the document. All right. And this one's pretty interesting about all about objects of power. Done. This is about the floppy disk that we picked up to get the launch ability. I think we saw this one before. This is a memo from Marshall to Alberto Tomasi. It's a little slow on the uptake about uh, certain st certain types of lockdowns. And that's everything here. 
And I believe there's a loot box down at the end here. Or a crap in the box, as I like to call it. Oh yeah, just to give you kind of context about everything we're looting and the materials we're going for. Right now we're going to be collecting exclusively undefined reading and house memory. You get hidden trends from alerts and the alerts are kind of like these pop-up timed missions that I'll show you about that later. Pardon me, but once you start doing those you'll get hidden trends from alerts and you also get them from named enemies. So we've killed two named enemies so far. So that's why we have two hidden, hidden trend. Um, as far as undefined reading and house memory, um, what you're looking for is eight undefined reading and four house memory. That plus 5,000 bucks or 5,000 source, you'll be able to buy the shatter upgrade for the, for the weapon form. Basically, it's a shotgun and that's going to become available at the end of this mission. All right, so I already had that, but just to give you kind of like context of what this actually means, that's what you're looking for. Eight undefined reading and four house memory and 5,000 bucks. All right, whoops. All right, let's continue looting. There is another clearance level locked door that we have to go actually all the way south to executive affairs and hook back around near um, the director's office. We can do that at the end of the mission. It'll be a lot easier, okay? But I know it's there. Now, this is where we started. Let's do a loot tour. This is exactly where we started. Right to the left here is a loot box. Or a crap in the box, as I like to call it. <laughs> Here's a clearance level one door that we can now open. And the loot box in here. And I should take a look at, at my mods because we're now going to start facing respawning enemies. Weapon mods. Shatter recoil efficiency 5%. This is total crap so I'm selling it right away. Um, energy gain from headshots. I never use these because by the time you line up a headshot your energy is has re like recharged anyways. Unless you're an absolutely spectacular crack shot. I can't see this becoming that useful. So I always sell these right away anyways. Um, damage boost, that's what we want in our grip pistol right now. Personal mods. The best one uh, for now is health recovery. 20% extra health recovery per element pickup. Um, energy recovery speed, I don't find these very useful. So I always sell these right away. This here, launch efficiency. This will give you like, see it's only 9%, this is what, like what I was talking about before, 9% extra and now we can do three rapid fire launches before our energy bar bottoms out, for example. See we got a little bit left, see that, see the energy bar? Before we don't be able to do two, but because of that mod we can now do three. You only need a little bit of energy left to do a full launch. Okay, that's again. Okay, let's take off that mod and I'll show you that. Okay, so now we have this mod installed and it's showing how many rapid fire launches we can do now. Let the energy bar fully charge. See that? After two rapid fire launches, our energy bar bottoms out. So, even though this is only 9%, it's actually quite valuable. Let's put on put that on right now. There we go. Who loves you? <laughs> um, enemies have respawned here. Very good. Crap in a box here. And we got some more house memory. And this is your first introduction to the Ocean View Motel. This one here, travel costs. Right there. Right? That's very significant. You, have a seat. <laughs>
Okay, we got more enemies spawning here. Don't forget this, it's giving you money. See, all those guys took damage from uh, my that one launch. That was that was sweet. Okay, so this area is clear. This is not a poison gas room. Not all shelters have poison gas, but this one does have. Like I said, we won't be able to go in there until later on when we do a side mission. There's a loot box there. Can you do a suicide run into and grab the loot and run out? No, you're gonna die. Been there, done it. <laughs> There is a loot box in the men's bathroom. That's the ladies' bathroom. That's the men's bathroom over here. Reload efficiency. I usually sell those. And that's where we continue into um, the dead letter section. But before you go there, there's a secret loot box up there. Um, you could wait till you get the, the levitation skill, but that's going to be way, way later in the game. Um, can't jump that high. But if you're real sneaky and you're rolling with major slack, you could do this. Just jump up here and just run straight up the railing. And you're going to jump at the last minute off to the left. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Uh, up, but up. There we go. <laughs> and you can get that secret loot box. Yeah, that's right. Who loves you? Major slack. That's right. Major slack loves you. All right, let's continue. Let's see. We did that one. I'm pretty sure we did that one up there. Um, anyways, if I didn't, if I forgot, I know it's there. And we got the secret one, and that's that. Okay. Into dead letters. There's a loot box underneath the stairs, and there's a loot box over there. Oh, this one is really funny. Machine God. All together now. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! <laughs> Gotta love it. And um, there's a loot box down there. But there's also one underneath the stairs. Watch out for respawning enemies. And another crap in the box. What do we get this time? More undefined reading. The singing fish. Okay, this guy didn't get very far in school. Obviously. Loot box in here. Launch efficiency. It's probably the same that we just got. And it's going to be a while before we get a second personal mod slot. And by then we'll have much better launch efficiency mods. So you can safely sell this one. You only need one. And these two doors are locked when you first pass through, but as soon as you clear that, that control point up there, they become unlocked. And that one is one of my favorite media files. Um, th the threshold, threshold kids. Let's go here. Dead presidents, this is pretty funny too. Once again, beep, 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 beep. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Okay, let's go see the Threshold Kids. I love these guys. These book club documents, uh, I really don't get the significance, but uh, you're going to be picking up a few of these. Okay, interact with this TV here. And we could just exit and watch it full screen. Go to collectibles, multimedia, and click on Threshold Kids. Alright! It's like the director says. 
Metro and children both start with C. I'm a director's a puppet, a dirty, rotten, fart person. Dad says my mama went missing in action. She walked into the city and didn't come back. I don't know what missing in actions is, but I sure wish someone would find her. I'll help you look, Telfer. We'll find your mama together. <laughs> I think she's hitting on you, Telfer. <laughs> okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, how fucked up was that? I'd give it a 12. That, that's, that's pretty fucked up. Okay, here we go. Let's get out of here before something weird happens. Um, I think this is all done. Oh, we've got enemies respawning here. Oh, wait, we got badasses. These guys. See that when he's crouching down like that? That's a ranger. You gotta watch out for those guys because they have rocket launchers. These guys. And or demolition experts. Okay, we did the threshold kit. Well, you got a badass down here. Okay, you got Just rip some concrete out of the wall there. Down you go. <laughs> nice. Racking up the cash here, boss. And if you ever get in trouble, don't forget, you can always interact with a control point to instantly refill your health. Alright? Um, pretty sure we did. Oh, wait, what are you? Join the party. I see you hiding there. Oh, he threw a grenade. You cheeky little bugger. Okay, in here. What? Oh, watch it now. Okay, who wants a satellite dish to the head? You. Oh, nice. <laughs> Sweet. Somebody behind me, what the hell? I'm gonna die. I've been in these situations a number of times before and I get, I get a little too cocky. Okay, here we go. There we go, all better. Okay, so before I was so really interrupted, um, we did that. That was about the floppy disk. Uh, we got the. Uh, Hopefully I got the loot box under the stairs. We got the loot box there. We did the threshold kits. Let's move on. Oh, loot box up here. More house memory. Jesse does take fall damage. Be advised. In New Maddox, this is where the floppy disk was originally, there is a level 1 clearance locked door up here that we previously couldn't open, but now we can. And loot box here. Health boost mod. These I generally ignore because I much prefer um, these ones here. They're, these are way more valuable. Instead of having a little more like making your health bar bigger, which we're going to do anyways through um, skill points. 
It's much better to get more health per pickup. So these I usually sell right away. In the beginning. Later on, um, you know, when you get better ones. And another loot box here. Okay, once again, I'm not going for all the documents. I don't really care. Even all the, like, I'm not even going for all the loot boxes. In the end, um, I mean, I'm going for as many as I can remember. In the end, like, not even in the end, I'd say about halfway through the game, you're going to have so many freaking mods. It's like, you're going to look at a loot box and go, oh, bother, another loot box, more mods, because you're going to be spending a lot of time going through your mod list, because everything's going to be maxed out. And you're going to spend a lot of time just going, okay, sell this, sell this, sell this, sell this, just to make room, you know, so... Please don't play Mr. Spotter because I don't really give a damn. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just you'll see halfway through the game is like okay, forget it. Why did I why did I tell him he missed that? Doesn't really matter. Two more loot boxes, one on either side. We could have enemies respawning here. Let's just load up a couple of boxes here. Get ready. And just race in. Any bad boys here? No? Okay, we're good. Done and done. And there's another one over here. In the other room. What's this? Oh. There's a document. That's the one we just picked up. And whoops, I missed one there. I think I just heard somebody respawn. And we're back at the mail room. I think that's pretty much everything. Unless I didn't oh it, these bathrooms usually don't have anything. This shelter down here. Where is that shelter? It's up top here. Here we go. Another launch efficiency. That's just a radio. If you have like your music on, you can just turn the radio on and off. That's it, we're back at the control point right next to, um, uh oh, I heard somebody respawning. Who wants a fire extinguisher to the head? You do. Get some. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Anybody else? Because there's plenty more of that come from. Plenty more. I can do this all day. Oh, here's one more multimedia. You're listening to America Overnight. This is a long one, and you could listen to that. I'll let you listen to that on your own. It's America Overnight. Okay, that's the mail room. That door is going to be locked. We have to unlock it from the inside, and that's it. There's the Tomasi boss fight, and here's the control point. Interact with this. Get ready. Get right with your maker. And coming up next is the Tomasi boss fight. Alright. Thanks a lot for watching. Nice long video for you guys. Thumbs up for that. And, um, hey, we found this remotely entertaining and or informative. You know, thumbs up for that. And subscribe to my channel and post a comment because I love to hear from my target audience. Alright. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, 
to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.